Greetings and welcome to another virtual reality video here on the channel. Today, as you can see, I am inhabiting, um, well, I mean, some kind of apartment or office room. Anyway, uh, back in time, look at this old phone. Um, I mean, it's awesome. It's got a dial and everything. We've got <laughs> something which apparently is a fax machine. I mean, this must be truly an old school fax machine and, and indeed radio. Does it work? <laughs> it works. Nice. Can I change the, change the tune? Change the dial? Oh, I can. Oh, wow, well, I can. That's really cool. The story you are about to hear is true. That's really cool. Only That's definitely a Morse code signal of some sort. What else have we got here? Less than 3% of the population were in towns of more than 10,000. Oh. Most immigrants lived on the land. Some sort of historical but documentary series or something? A dog barking? Clock? Anyway, all sorts of crazy stuff. I think there's like some music on here as well somewhere. Um, it's all very awesome, but obviously we want to be wary of hitting any content ID filters on YouTube, so we might stay away from it unless the game demands it. Um, so this is Red Stair. We are engaging in some, some spycraft in the 1950s, and this is a free game. I mean, this happens on uh, Steam VR from time to time. You get these things popping up for free, which is just awesome. Um, I mean, there's a lot of stuff in the virtual reality um, field genre. I, I, what would the correct term be? There's a lot of stuff out for virtual reality on Steam that is not free, that arguably should be, or frankly shouldn't exist at all. Um, but nonetheless, the fact that it's counterbalanced by these awesome free little things that pop up from time to time, uh, I think personally is amazing. And uh, and we're going to engage in this one. So this is uh, this is Red Stair. Let's just get the game started. Like all good virtual reality uh, games, by the way, the menu, which I'm in at the moment, is a physical space and you just like physically manipulate things in order to kind of select stuff. So I've got my assignments, uh, fax it with the red button. I've got the red assignment and the blue assignment. I guess I'll just take the red assignment. Um, I don't really know if there's a difference. Let's pop that in the fax machine. This blackboard here, by the way, is awesome. Look, I've got chalk. I can, I can write on the blackboard. I mean, is that not, is that not absolutely fantastic? Look, let's wipe that off. Let's wipe it off. There we go. Wipe it off. It's a little bit hard because my hand can go through the blackboard with the with the wipe. Um, so good. Let's just begin the mission, shall we? Red mission. Fax sent. All right. Here we go. It's six o'clock. Possibly in the morning. Possibly at night. Oh, okay. Is that the sun rising or is that the sun setting? The phone's ringing. Good morning, agent. Good morning. Hope you've settled in all right. Agent Weird here. Sorry about the mess. But your predecessor left in a bit of a hurry, and we couldn't leave this post unmanned. Okay. Now then, you're being thrown right into the middle of an operation. Take a good look outside, specifically the building across the street. See the woman on the top floor? Her Blue name's dress. Norma. Norma's got a briefcase she'll be handing over to us. Okay. So you're gonna keep an eye on it. I'm gonna fax over the details on the situation. The fax machine should be on your desk. Press the left button to receive incoming messages. I'll be in touch. All right. I don't know what accent you have there. I think I'm working for like the CIA or the FBI or something here. Possibly looking for communists. Maybe I'm like an MI5 agent or MI6, I forget which, um, who's been seconded uh, or possibly is undercover or something. Suspend mission. We don't want to do this. Uh, so I want to receive a fax. There we go. Ooh, two faxes coming in. Uh, zero. The briefcase. Suspect Norma, known communist sympathizer, willing to give us intel in order to receive immunity. Wow, okay, that's cool. Uh, with your predecessor gone, it's your job to monitor Norma, dropping off the briefcase. Stay vigilant. Oh, okay. Someone's ringing us again. It's me. Hello? You've got the facts, right? Yeah, I got the facts. Make sure you keep that stuff organized. You can pin the papers to the blackboard if you want. I think Norma's now, on the move. The gist of it is, Norma spills the beans and the commies in the building. We give her immunity in return. Or at least, we'll think about it. Okay. Norma hasn't been a very good patriot lately. What you'll be doing is creating a record of Norma dropping off the briefcase we want. Just in case something goes wrong. Roger that. Give it a test. Norma should be in the parking lot with the briefcase right about now. Well, she's, so I mean, she's still on the, her. on the curb the now. Should I'm not sure I call that a parking next lot. Next to the fax machine. To use it, press the red button or the button near your thumb. Once you've got a good picture, send it over using the right button on the fax. Oh yeah, oh yeah, there it is, look, there it is, and um, wow, I, I have to say, 
I don't know if it's coming through on the recording, but this is very laggy. I think the frame rate is really suffering. Um, but uh, but I'll, I'll soldier through it. It's fine. It's going to be fine. I mean, it's not like it's very action-oriented at the moment. Um, did he say I could stick things? Oh, yes, I can stick things on there. So that's Norma. Um, should we, like, should we put this on here? Look. Suspect Norma, known communist sympathizer. There we go. All the information that we need. Should we put her in sympathizers? Like that. There we go. I mean, I don't know. Is that the way to organize things? I don't know. I'm not a spy. Um, or am I? Who knows? Um, right, so I've got a good picture of you, Norma. She's down there. Everything's looking good. What's this? Oh, is this my badge? Special agent. Special agent. That's me. I am a special agent. Very special, as it turns out, because I'm also a British agent, uh, secretly undercover. Got this. I wonder if I can... Oh, yeah. Flick it open. Look, it closed. Nice. See, this is what VR is all about. This is what this is what I was talking about in the uh, the X Rebirth video. It's like putting yourself physically in that environment, being able to interact with it, is what makes VR so special. It's what makes it so awesome. Um, right, I've taken a photo. Do you want me to take another one? The click. Oh, there we go. I can click that to do it with one hand. There's Norma. Second second shot of Norma. She's looking much the same as she did in the first shot. Um, all right, let's just put that down. Keep that. I don't know. I don't know if it's important or not. I don't know if it's relevant. We've got cigarettes here. <laughs> well, I mean, it is the 50s. Apparently, we can smoke cigarettes, but, um, you know, I'm not going to because uh, that would just be crazy. Um, hello? It's me again. Whoa! Got the facts, right? Make sure you keep that stuff organized. It wasn't even you can pin the papers to the blackboard if you want. Now, the gist of it is, Norma spills the beans on the commies in the building. Right. We give her immunity in return. Roger. Or at least, we'll think about it. Didn't you already tell Norma me this? Norma hasn't been a very good patriot lately. What you'll be doing is creating a record of Norma dropping off the briefcase we want, just in case something goes wrong. Okay. Give it a test. Norma should be in the parking lot with the briefcase right about now. Yep. So take a picture of her. Already done it. The camera should be on the desk. Yep, it's here. the fax machine. I've got it. To use it, press the red button. Okay. The button near your thumb. Once you've got a good picture, send it over using the right button on the fax. Oh, you want me to fax it to you? Right, okay, I got it. I got it. Sorry, sir. I mean, I'm new on the job, obviously. It's like first day. I've just been... I just came across from... Uh, from... From... Uh, Sacramento. Because uh, I'm an American. I'm not an F I'm not an MI5 agent. I'm totally an American. Is this a Sacramentoian accent? I don't know. It's at least as convincing as yours is, though, sir. Goodbye. Um, I'm pretty sure I fooled him. Right, so he wants us to fax this over to him. Let's do that. Pop it in there. Hit the send button. Away it goes. Oh, right on the floor. Come on. Um, back in there with my sympathizers. Oh, okay. Hello again. Hi. Got your picture. Looks like you've got the hand. She's on the move again. So here's the plan. Norma's gonna dead drop the briefcase in the parking lot. She already did. We'll be picking it up ten She's minutes where? later so we don't raise any suspicion. Okay, ten minutes. They'll be monitoring proceedings. So keep your eyes locked tight on that briefcase. If anything out of the ordinary it's happens, been ten minutes. I want you and your camera to be all over it. It's been like, it's been like half an hour already. Um, all right, fine. Where's my camera? It's anything suspicious? It's getting dark, but it, it'll be fine. Uh, probably should hold it in this one. Who's this? That might be suspicious. It's me. Hello? I've got another agent nearby. According to them, someone's heading into the parking lot, and they're not with us. Who's he? Keep an eye out. Make sure they're not getting near that briefcase. He's pretty near. He's pretty, he's pretty much right on top of it. What happened? What happened? Oh! Something happened. Something happened to Norma. The briefcase is gone. What the hell just happened? I don't know. Wait. Take pictures and fax me everything. Damn it. I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't know what happened. Look, this guy showed up. He showed up. And then something happened to Norma. I think it was Arnold. I think it was Arnold. Who's Ike? He's an unknown. Other. He's an unknown. Hello? Let's see here. This is a picture of the guy in the parking lot, isn't it? Yes. Hmm. It's likely he ran off with the briefcase. Quite likely, yes. This picture will help us identify him. But what about the gunshot? 
Can you see anything? Well, I got, like I got a picture of Arnold. But might have been taking a picture of the wrong thing. Maybe it's this guy here. But... Oh no, that's him again. That's Arnold again. Arnold? What do you think? Got an itchy nose. Okay, apparently he's not interested in Arnold. Um, oh, maybe he was. Hold well, on. What about the gunshot? Can you see anything? I d no, not really. It's this guy. Arnold. It's that guy. Where the gunshot happened? I was, I was too busy looking down at the ground. There's like lots of people. Let's just take pictures of everything. Like there's this guy, Ike. Maybe it was him. There's uh, these two. Curtis, achievement progress. A good neighbor is worth more than five out of 25. Okay, you can have that. Don't know who that is. But what about the gunshot? Shut up! It's me. I'm gonna have to ask you not to hang up while I'm talking. Anyway, what the hell just happened? Wait, take pictures and fax me everything. Well, damn um, it! That's what I'm doing. Police. Now uh, we got this woman here, Janet. We got this girl down here, Grace. You can have her. I don't know. But what about the gunshot? Shut up! Can you see anything? Just got like piles of photos <laughs> from my Polaroid camera. Very, very natty Polaroid camera. Um, I didn't. But what about up. the gunshot? Shut up! He's gonna tell me that I'm not supposed to hang up on him now, isn't he? It's me. I'm gonna have to ask you not to hang up Shut while I'm talking. Shut up! Anyway, what the hell just happened? Wait. Take pictures and fax me everything. I have taken. Damn it! Oh wait, there. I found her! <laughs> she was lying in a pool of blood on the ground the whole time. I'm such a good secret agent. Here she is. Here she is. Don't worry. I know what's going on. I guess I can get rid of a lot of these pictures. Uh, let's just let's just chuck them out the window. There we go. They're, they're of no value. They're of no value or, or interest. <laughs> so, someone's going to be like wandering around out there and they're going to find them and be like, Hey, good what's going on? Good job getting a clear picture of the crime scene. You're welcome. It was yeah. dark at the time. It I couldn't see. doesn't look like we'll be getting any more information out of Norma. That's true. Anyway. We'll go over the picture and see what we can figure out. You could right. send like an officer or something. I think we got what we need. I mean, she Damn. is just lying dead what in the disaster. street. <sighs> well, welcome to the team at any rate. Kick back for now. I'll let you know when we've got your next assignment. Oh, okay. Thanks. So, can I have some of that pizza? It's, um, unfortunately, it's through my real-life wall, so I'm going to say no. I could do a bit of typing. Hopefully, I can do a bit of typing. If only I could put some paper in there. Is there any paper I can put in there? Ooh, pizza! Try our authentic specialty pizza. Hold on. Hello again, Agent. Well, that was After quick. that fiasco from the other day, I've got some good news. One of our agents has successfully infiltrated a building and is posing as a communist. Of course, you need to know who it is, too. Take yes. a look at the case file on your desk. Your predecessor put it together with all the info she gathered on the building's inhabitants. Okay. But recent events have made it a little... outdated. Compare the notes to the people you can see now, figure out who doesn't belong, and you've got our undercover agent. Can't you just Consider tell me? Consider this a bit of a test for you. Oh. Once you've figured out who it is, snap a picture of them and send it over to me. I'll send you the assignment by fax as well. Good luck. Right, okay, so we've got to figure out who's new in the building. You know what would be great? Binoculars. Um, I guess I can use this. It doesn't really zoom in though. I mean, it's actually, if anything, slightly smaller <laughs> than, than when I look at it. Uh, through my own eyes, if indeed you can call them my own eyes. Case file. Is this this it? Suspect info. This contains basic information on suspects organized by apartment they inhabit. Pull down the drawing on the blackboard for more information. Oh. Okay. Apartment one. <laughs> Wow. Okay, just moving it around in space causes the pages to... Stop it! Stop it. Good. Uh, is that this? Oh, here we go. Alright, so we've got apartment 4, 3, 2, 1, 5 and 6 on the side. 
So, apartment... Apartment 1. Felicia and Elise share apartment 1. Both mostly wear green. Apartment 1. Ground floor. There's someone in green. Is that Elise? That's Elise. Look, there we go. Take that off. Take, take it off. Throw it out the window. <laughs> Hi, Elise! I just took a picture of you! I'm a secret agent. It's fine. It's all fine. I guess that's the other green person in her flat. Um, Felicity. Good. All right. Apartment two is apartment two is shared by Bernard and Curtis. Bernard generally wears red. Curtis wears a denim jacket. Uh, is that a guy in a denim jacket? That's a guy in red. I would say. Looks like they're fine. Apartment three. Darwin and Ike live in apartment three. Darwin is fond of blue suits, and he likes and Ike likes to wear red brown jackets. All right. So apartment three. There's a blue suit. Let's just assume they're fine. Apartment 4. Arnold and Normia. Norma occupy apartment 4. Both usually wear their working clothes. Obviously, Norma is dead. Who's this guy? Carla. Is Carla new? What else have we got? Apartment 5. Grace likes to wear red. Larry wears grey. Apartment 6. Haley and Janet like... Uh, and often wear blue, although Janet is mainly clothed in darker blues. Okay, right. Fine. I think I've got it. I think I've got it. Suspect information. It's a little bit glitchy, but it's fine. Um, let's take a look at this guy. Carla. I think Carla might be our agent. Come on, ring. Maybe you want to. Nice job. Looks like you found our inside woman, Carla. Oh, yeah. She's already given us a lot of intel in a short amount of time she's been in there. This evening, Carla will be meeting with a couple of Reds. I'll give you the details later. Oh, before I go, make sure you keep a record of every clue you collect on each of our suspects. We define them as good patriots, commie sympathizers, informants, and of course the spy. If you do the same, it should give you a good overview of the case. Take a rest for now. If you feel like time's going by a little too slowly, Take a good close look at the clock. It's a good way to kill time. Okay, nice. It's quite neat. Uh, right, we can put that back up. I guess we put this guy in spies. Yeah, because he's like, he's definitely a spy. He's definitely a dirty scoundrel spy. Um, did he give us a mission? I can't, like, I don't think, Ike? No, where's Carla? Carla? Carla is uh, an informant? No, she's not a communist. She's a patriot. There we go. She's one of ours. I think. I think she's one of ours. It actually does work. Look at that. That's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. Oh, no, I'm ashing on the floor. Um. Oh, no. <laughs> I thought I was going to set fire to the thing. At least turn it off. I need to let's throw that out the window. I don't, I don't actually smoke. Um in uh, virtual reality or indeed in real reality not anymore um right i don't think anything is interesting is going on so let's just take a look at the clock and speed time <laughs> that's, that's a really neat that's a really neat idea look should i call for some pizza four eight eight two six nice job what? Looks like you found our inside woman, Carla. I was calling. She's already given us a lot of intel for pizza. in a short amount of time she's been in there. This evening, Carla will be meeting with a couple of Reds. I'll give you the details later. Hello, Agent. Remember Hi. that meeting Carla's organizing? It's happening in the alleyway next to the building. Okay. Apparently, it's a popular spot for the Reds. They meet there frequently and make sure to keep anyone who isn't involved out of there. Keep a close look. I'll send over the relevant intel Carla's been able to collect by fax. You keep your eyes glued to that alley and get me pictures of all the people Carla's meeting with. Dead. She's 
not relevant anymore. So we've got Elise as a sympathizer. We've got Curtis as a sympathizer. And we've got Grace as a sympathizer. I got a picture from you. Looks good. Make sure you get a shot of everyone. Okay. Carla said there'd be three people other than her at the meeting. Yep. Yep, there are three. Sorry, I didn't fax the other two. Curtis. And Grace. Good. Oh, looks like the meeting's ended. Great job, Agent. You've captured all those red mugs nicely. Yep. I'll check in with the higher-ups to see how they want us to proceed. For now, it's a job well done. So kick back. Talk to you soon. <laughs> Are they staying down there? I think they might be staying down there. Someone will find them. Maybe a hobo or something will come by and like collect them all do something interesting with them. I guess we need to keep an eye on that, that alleyway then, if that's where the reds like do their meeting and stuff. Look, who's that in the alleyway now? Elise. Is she already in? She's already in my my gang thing. Look, there's another one in there. Curtis. Yep, we know about him. We know that they're alleyway hangers doing their communist sympathizing, like the dirty communist sympathizers that they are. It's like, look, look, bad. Bad. Grace, you're bad. You're a baddie, and we will catch you and ensure that, um, you know, terrible things happen to you. I guess we just have to wait now? Yeah? Wait for the, wait for another night to pass? Oh, should we try cleaning the pizza? Great job, Agent. No. You've captured all those no. red mugs nicely. I want a phone for pizza. I'll Why check are you with the higher ups to see how they want us to, to the phone. For now, it's a job well done. So kick back. Talk to you soon. Right, okay. I'm going to kick back. Type on the typewriter for a bit. Maybe put the radio on. Lovely. Oh. Oh. America. That's enough of that. Looks like something interesting is about to happen. Listen up, we don't have much time for this one. Carla has been bluffing her way into the communist organization until now, but she's overplayed her hand. We need to identify one of the communist informants and let Carla know who it is, or her cover will be blown. She's gathered a lot of information on one of the informants. Long story short, keep a close eye on the roof and the alley. And, actually, just take a look at what we faxed over. Get a picture of the informant and fax it to us once you're sure about it. We only have one shot at this, so keep your eyes peeled. Okay. Don't you worry. It's not her. Felicia. No, not her. Uh, what have you faxed over? Right, use information provided to find one of the informants. Make sure Carla knows who it is. The informant meets with all sympathizers, either the roof or the alley. Watch those spots, see what we miss everyone. Make sure you get a picture of the informant to Carla or her disguise and potentially her life will be lost. All right, so we've got to keep an eye on the roof and the alleyway. Uh, we've got someone in the alleyway there, sort of near the alleyway. I don't think there's anyone on the roof at the moment. I assume that's the roof, rather than all the way up there. Darwin. Okay, keep an eye on Darwin. That's Elise. We know Elise. Okay, someone's meeting in the alleyway, look. Curtis. It's Curtis and Elise. Curtis and Elise in the alleyway. Let's move some of this out of the way. Over there. She was killed on our watch. We're not gonna let that lie. No, not us. That old deep throat MI5 James Weird here. I'm gonna see that these commies are brought to justice. And I'm gonna make sure that our woman, Carla, survives. And that her cover is not blown. And the other meeting's taking place. Come on, we gotta know. We gotta know. Hold on, who's this? It's Janet. It's Janet doing on the roof. Janet's an unknown. 
Janet's up there with Elise. Well, that's interesting. Alright, so it's the second time we've seen Elise. This time meeting with Janet. Larry. Larry? Larry's up there with Jeanette, look. Curtis. So it's the second time Curtis has been seen with somebody, but neither time have they been known Kami informants or sympathizers. Who's this? There's Grace. Alright, who's gonna meet her? Who's gonna meet her? It's Elise! It's gotta be Elise. Look, this is in the way. Get that information to Carla, right now! Look at them. The day's far from over. If you ask me, you should wait till evening to make sure you've got the right person. Really? Uh, well, okay. This is the life of a spy. We're on stakeout. I feel like I should have, like, stakeout food to eat. Chips or something. Maybe some sauce. Who's this? It's Elise again. It's Elise with Larry. Okay. It's another shot of Elise. It's gotta be it. I mean, we don't know who Larry is. He must be a sympathizer. Alright, come on, look, that's gotta be it. Definitely Elise. I'd stake my spy reputation on it. If I had a pistol up here, I'd just shoot an arrow. That's what spies do. I know it is. Are you positive this is the informant? You better be, because Carla's life may depend on it. Now, Carla has made it clear today that she suspects her phone is being tapped, so we weren't sure how to get this info to her. We've decided we're not going to, but you are. Here's the plan. Carla's going to make a stop outside your window tonight. Drop the picture out the window while she's there to make sure she gets it. Good luck. Okay. I can do that. Where was it? Elise. Come on, Carla. Is that you? Carla in red? Carla in red. There you go. Don't pick up any of those other pictures that I threw out. I mean, there's loads of pictures down there, but just that one, that's the relevant one, all right? That's the one where I'm absolutely positive it's the correct answer. In fact, we're gonna put Elise uh, in. We're gonna move Elise to informants. There we go, the rest of these, we'll just check those out the window. I suppose I could put them in the drawer or something. I could just, there we go. That's more like it. Um, Curtis ones, we'll get rid of those. Normal, we'll keep that. Uh, Larry is a potential suspect. Look, he's met with both of them. So I'm going to say Larry might be a sympathizer, but he's a question mark sympathizer. Question mark. Perfect. All right. I believe Carla should be meeting with the informant right now. Let's hope this all goes smoothly. that picture. What's going on?
Congratulations on a job well done, Agent. Carla's still walking among the Reds, so I assume the picture you gave her helped her to win their trust. We've been looking over the intel she's given us. I'll call you back soon to disclose some of it. Okay, good work. She's a keeper. Alright, I think we can just kick back and relax here a little bit. Wait for some time to pass. Oh. Good day, Agent. We've got some useful information for you. Apparently the commies avoid being in a diner in greater numbers than patriots. They don't want us to catch them by surprise in there. If you see any commies visiting the diner, maybe you can use it to rule out some of the other people in there as good patriots. <laughs> wow, okay. That's quite a task. So I gotta keep track of all the people going into the diner. Whenever there's people in the diner who are known sympathizers, uh, they want... What, what, Good like, day, Agent. We've got some useful information for you. Apparently the commies avoid being in a diner in greater numbers than patriots. They don't want us numbers. to catch them by surprise in there. If you see any commies visiting the diner, maybe you can use it to rule out some of the other people in there as good patriots. Alright. So we got... Darwin. Don't know. Oh my god, look, there's loads of people in there. We got Curtis. Arnold. Right. Any of these known sympathizers? Curtis is a known sympathizer. I can't rule that out because there's loads of people in there. Is anyone not a known sympathizer? Frankly, I've got no idea. I'm going to have to spend a lot more time um, investigating. You know what I think that'll probably do for a quick look at Red State. I don't want to get too far into it because obviously this is a free game, which means anybody out there with VR headsets can download it and experience it for themselves. And I wouldn't want to give them undue knowledge into exactly who is a sympathizer and who is not a sympathizer. But if you ever had ambitions to go on a stakeout, if you ever wanted to be a spy working out who was a commie and who was a good patriot, um, then this, frankly, is pretty much the only game in town, at least in the VR uh, in the VR realm um, and you know it's very nicely implemented like I said the optimization doesn't seem to be brilliant um, it's it's I'm getting a little bit of frame lag and stuff from time to time it might be because I'm recording as I'm playing it um, but a lot of the production quality here is really good uh, it's a really nice environment they've come up with some really neat ideas and I mean this is original and that's one of the great things about VR you know there are loads of wave shooters there are loads of kind of you know stand on the spot and kill things or move around and kill things like you know that, that that's kind of a dime a dozen and that's not to that's not to detract from them they can be very good and there's plenty of scope within that for a lot of variety but it's lovely to say things like this coming out which um which just work and they work so much better being in vr i mean you could probably do this in non-vr if you wanted to but it's so much more engaging being in here being in this room but I think that will do us for now with Red Stair. There'll be more videos coming in the future. If you want to see more Red Stair, if you want me to actually play through this in its entirety, by all means, leave a comment. Let me know. Let me know what you think of my VR content in general. If you like videos, remember to hit the like button because it helps me to see what is working and what perhaps is not working so well um, and, uh, and adjust accordingly. But until such adjustments happen in the future, I have been Weird Wizard, and I will see you later.